Good morning, Raptoria. Welcome back, and good to see you all here. Let's go. Hey, this is uh, random. I noticed this game finally released today, and uh, we took a look at this game, uh, I don't know, like last year. Kingdom of Wreck Business. It's basically a diving salvage recovery operation game. Seems pretty damn cool. We certainly love tycoon games, simulator games, and like building games, and I guess this one we're building our own business in a tycoon style of like uh, getting upgrades and stuff for our submarines and ships and things like that and uh, looking for cargo and whatnot. I thought this one was interesting when we played it. The demo was a little short though and after we completed it I think we went out and played Subnautica afterwards so but that was fine because that's what you expect with a, a demo but this is the full release of the game out today June 16th just like out of nowhere like thanks to the devs for sending over a, a early key by the way because otherwise we wouldn't be able to play until later. Um, but yeah, so here we are. Awesome, cool. Good to see you all back again. Welcome back, members. Welcome back, subscribers. Thank you, everybody, for all of the support. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Hmm. Oh, what? Continue? I don't think we have anything to continue. I think we'll start it. Auto save. Oh, wow, it saved what we did in the demo. All right, we're gonna totally start fresh then. I guess it saved our demo progress, which is kind of nice. But we're gonna start fresh because a lot could have changed. All right, cool. It's so pretty, I know, very pretty. This game's gonna be pretty pretty, I think. Way too dank. There we go. That's better. And for whatever reason, it changed to windowed. All right, that seems fine. All right, cool. So let's own and operate our very own salvage company. I guess finding treasure under the ocean floor, or on the ocean floor, under the ocean surface, and uh, see what we can recover. And actually, you know what? I'm curious if there's a trailer for this one that shows anything interesting. Let me just go to the Steam store page real quick. Mm. Well, it does show the interesting uh, open-worldness of, like, having to actually drive around on the surface of the ocean and, like, scan. So there's a little bit of, like, fishing bear and sea in this one. So let's go. Do you want to start the game in Liverpool? I guess we have to. All right, cool. Oh, this is getting me excited for Dave the Diver chat. Not too long until we have to, or until we get to play Dave the Diver in the full release. Oh, yes. Welcome to your office. Well, thank you. Uh, extended tutorial or only tips? Eh, tips for now. All right, yeah, so we're at the Liverpool docks. Apparently there's a lot of traffic down there at the docks. Someone's stuck in traffic at the docks. Cool. Uh, gems. Looks like we can find emeralds, diamonds, rubies. Ooh, oh, we can uh, customize our character and stuff. Cool. Oh, cool. So this is where we get to start our business. Go with that one. Go with that. Cool. Oh, wow. They let you have a long name, finally. So many games when they, like, ask you to give a, a name to a business or something or a character it's like oh dude you can only have half of a character it's like what i don't know why they like let you type in names and then you can only do like eight characters like come on names are a lot longer than that all the time all right birthday okay cool i guess i don't really care about my character too much if i'm not gonna be able to like see myself probably Oh, 
Wow, they give you a lot of options. Let's go with that. And a hat. A monocle? No way, bro. How does that, how do glasses qualify under hat? Shouldn't that be like facial accessories or something? We're, all right, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna go with Tucker hat. That's what we're gonna do. Unfortunately, we don't have orange. I think we'll just go with that. that that's fine. Apparently the, the shirt is gray, the uh, hat is gray. That's fine. I'm cool with that. All right. Oh, do we actually get to upgrade and build our business too? Wonder if we actually get to build stuff, like at the office. Three million. Wow. Mm, hello, my f uh, former colleague. So you've decided to open your own company. I pulled some strings for you. First contract. I will send their offer soon. Good luck. Heard that you're already moved in. The air conditioner is a little rough sometimes, but other than that, <clears throat> everything should be in perfect condition. Good luck with your work. Cool. Oh, no way. We can buy more ships? Badass. All right. Oh. Well, it's a start. Fishing ship damaged. Well, can we repair that? We do have three million. How much would a new one cost? Oh, there's none. All right, we probably can't buy any for a little while. Happy Friday. Happy Friday indeed, chat. Happy Friday indeed. Uh, extracted Rex. Oh, what? Oh. I think this means that we can actually, like, get ships off from the ocean floor and bring them all the way back here. And then, like, have them on a barge and either salvage them or, like, further maybe restore them like if it's an old Spanish galleon or something like that maybe we could actually like repair it put it in a museum or something that'd be amazing that'd be really cool so not only are we going under the surface to look for treasure but we can also bring the ships back too that's that's pretty ambitious for a game that's good that's cool that's Poglad Emo that's big that's new that's fresh yeah raise the Titanic yeah catch Nemo I don't know if we can do that uh, what do we got here Oh, that's the same thing. Okay. Storage, shipyard, wreck barge slots. Oh, wow. So we so we also have to buy barges to bring those boats back. So it's not just like free. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, we can hire staff too? So we can hire staff. We can get barges to bring parts of ships back. We can buy more ships. And then we can store things too. That's incredible. Oh, and then there's workers who... Oh, these are candidates. Okay. That's cute. <clears throat> so it looks like we can work in and around seas of Europe. Okay. Uh, what are we looking for, though? So we gotta find where an expedition may be first before we can go sailing. We might have to wait a little bit of time. Sometimes we can wait at the uh, docks, I think, for new missions to come in. Click play in the bottom right corner to receive your first mission. Okay. A new order is available in your mailbox. Cool. Uh, the beginning of something extraordinary. Chris Braxton. Uh, finally, I've been waiting for this day for so long. Finally decided to set up your own business. I've made some calls. I have your first good target. For a long time, it was ignored by the prominent players because the reward seemed too small, but it looks like a good objective for you. It's an old German submarine, a U-190, carried out six war patrols, and what's most impressive, sunk two ships. Can't wait to see what you find there. Good luck. Oh, so we're going to go to a German submarine and salvage it. Badass. Wow, it's got all the information about it, too. Alright. So now we can go on an expedition. Uh, 
Uh, select the expedition destination crew and items. I still don't know where it was sunk. Or buy one time access for eight thousand five hundred. Well, all right, I guess we'll just do one time access since we, I mean, we have three million pounds, but uh, I guess we'll just, we'll just save most of it. All right, let's do one time access. All right, cool. If you find a part of the ship that can be pulled out, the size of the required platform will appear here. Well, that's what it looks like. Maybe the area where where we found it. Go to sea. Let's do it. You need one crew member for the selected ship. Oh, we have we have some workers already. But we can bring two. What happens if we bring more than one? Seems like a good idea. I'll just take the first two. Okay, cool. And let's go to sea. Oh, we can upgrade our ship too. Looks like there's boat upgrades. This is awesome. Mark 1 engines. Uh, antenna and lift. So I guess speed ability to detect wrecks and then maybe how much it can haul. Alright, so the expedition will begin in a day. Would you like to start the expedition now? I, I, I do. Yeah. I certainly would. Oh, and then it takes travel time to get from Liverpool to wherever the destination may be. It's amazing. Alright. That's cool. Love that they put in all the little details like that. That's very classy. Ocean is home to nearly 95% of all life. I guess so. Wow. So now we need to find the wreck where we are. Obviously, this boat is kind of meant to be a little crappy. Oh, but we can't go out on the deck. Oh. Alright, back to office dive. Change anchor status. This is your ship bridge here. You can move around and interact with the equipment. We can steer from here. Interact with our tanks in order to dive. Change the camera view with V key, okay. Ah, cool. So, what about like our sonar and such? I guess we'll just go ahead slow. Oh, it takes a little bit of fuel to get here, too. So from Liverpool to where we are, it took a little bit of fuel as well. So there's going to have to be some strategy, actually, with when you use... Or what boats you use, too. Like, some of them might be fuel inefficient. But maybe we can bring more fuel or something. I don't know.
Oh, we can send in a drone. Ah, that's really cool. So we can dive there ourselves or we can send in a drone. Looks like we need to go behind us, maybe? There seems to be a marker 120 meters back that way. Seems a little too easy to just have it marked up there and just be like, oh, 200 meters this way. Yeah, we have a rust bucket completely. What's funny is that we had $3 million in the bank to start with, but uh, boats are very, very expensive. Very, very expensive. Maybe we can just do some fishing while we're out here. I wonder if we'll get better equipment like, you know, advanced sonar and radar and stuff to better position ourselves. I guess we already have a GPS. It's kind of standard. Yeah, the rust protects it. That's right. From all the salt water. Okay, so now we're heading the right direction. Okay. Now we just gotta go like 170 meters this way. Pretty cool though that we can actually like drop a, um, a drone. Like a small submarine. Yeah, it's kind of like Dredge a little bit, isn't it? Oh man, that'd be cool if Dredge gets a uh, more to do with dredging in the future. I wonder if there will be a buoy or some sort of marker. Shipboard allows you to control your ship on the ocean surface. Wow, this ship comes to a stop right away. But I'm sure we're man, we're only like 13 meters away. I think that's close enough. All right, let's go diving. I wonder what we'll have to do for deep, deep dives. If we'll have to go into, like, compression and stuff like that. Or decompression. Or if we'll get, like, suits and stuff. P40 right there. Oh, so anything blinking is an object we can recover. Okay. We might have to take several trips back up to the top. There's an MG34. A gren <laughs> grenade. Okay. A teapot. Oh, there's the sub. We have to collect the Enigma machine, too. Dude. Must be a hole in it. Or it's completely blown open. Sai, thanks for the 21 months as a raptor egg, dude. Thanks for the support. Maybe it's not in the sub.
this stuff over here. Get inside. New member, welcome. No more stuff over here, though. Pretty easy to find the stuff. I mean, I'm glad that at least they make it glowing and green, but that just could be it's the tutorial mission or whatever. Maybe. Happy Friday, chat. Well, this is only half the sub. Maybe there's more around here. Gotta be like a, another debris field around here somewhere. You ordered a foot long sub, not a six inch. Yeah, sorry, that one's a little shorter. It got crushed on the nose. Oh, there's some stuff. Hey, what's up, Calamity Bob? Thanks for 25 months as a Raptor Plus. Happy Friday to you as well. Hey, there's the back end of the sub. All right, or a, a part of it. And that looks like an Enigma machine to me. No more space in inventory. Okay. We'll go to the surface and then come back here. So we just found what we were looking for. Like when I came out of the surface, I really flew out of the top of the top of the water there. Okay. All right. So we just got to go off the port side to find the uh, Enigma machine and anything else that might be in there. The rain and weather effects are cool. I'm glad it's not just like a sunny day all the time. So how do I drop all this stuff off? Oh, okay. Wait, I didn't have enough space for that? I could have made space. Maybe. Right, let's go again. Port side. About here. 
here. Just guessing. Now it's gonna be cool. When we get some more equipment like drones and whatnot, it's gonna be really interesting to like look for things before we go to collect them. It'll be a lot safer and save us a lot of time. Holy crap, there's lots of stuff down here. gather it all. There's the enigma. Quest complete. You're really good. You've completed all tasks in the mission. Oh, I found all items. Okay. There's a storage chest, though. It says I found all items, but... Clearly, there's more here. Well, there we go. We can move it around. Well, there could be more stuff down here, but they said I collected it all, so I'm just going to believe them. All right, back to the boat. First try. Now I wonder if we get to actually restore those things. Like, obviously, they're going to be rusted to hell. But I wonder if it'll be possible to actually uh, refurbish them and sell them. Uh, we couldn't go inside this up. Oh, you mean the front part? Uh, that's fine. Look, the game told me it's okay. I'm done. So I'll just believe it. Cool. Is there a max depth? Yeah, until we need like a some sort of advanced suit, like the uh, prawn. So the ship also has a limited inventory space too. So that might be something to consider when we. Uh, We're not going to have room for all this stuff. I wonder if we can open that. Okay, we'll put our pistols there. That's good enough. So how do we go back? Oh, the map. All right, cool. First job successful. Promota. Hell yeah, chat. Let's go. Promota. <laughs> Absolutely. Would you like to transfer all findings from the ship to storage? Yes. But I also have stuff on me, though, that it wouldn't fit. Whoa. All right. World War II automatic rifle. Apparently, a B the Germans had a BAR on the sub for some reason. 21,000. 60,000 for the Enigma. No way. That's awesome. We found more than that, though. We found more than that. So, what do we do now? Happy Friday, yeah, for sure. Happy Friday.
Oh, I guess we can sell through this. Oh, wait, we got 50,000 for doing that, plus we can sell additional stuff, right? Oh, wow, we can get messages from the army, bank, employees. And oh, I wonder if there'll be an instance where, like, something sinks and they want us to recover it, like, right away. Hmm. Box head inspect. Maybe you could open it that way. Maybe. I'm not trying to get to storage now. Oh, we can buy stuff here. What? Remote detonators. We can set off, like, demo charges under the sea? Alright, cool. So there might be a way to blow open his ship. Laser scans wrecks. Sonars. GPS marker. Scanning dart. Basic underwater drone. That might be able to... Maybe bring back stuff. Oh, the pawn shop will buy. Hmm. Oh, or we can sell things here. Whoa. Ooh, classic rifle underscore name. Nice. Valuable chest, medieval dagger, golden chalice. Let's see what we have in storage. There. Oh, and then there's our player inventory here. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, very common. The... Uh, my rifle underscore name or whatever. Wait, transfer time? 12 hours to what? Move stuff from the boat to storage? Oh, actually, yeah. I don't want anything on the boat anymore. Um... So there's, so I, uh, that's really strange. So the, okay. So one thing I don't like is that there were a few things that we brought up from the ocean floor that we couldn't put on the boat, so I just kept them on me. So then there were items that were on me that I couldn't put into storage. I have to first put them onto my boat and then put them into storage, but then it takes 12 hours to do that? Like, why not just be able to take from your inventory and then, like, put in your, your little storage yard? Hmm. It's kind of weird. I don't know why there's multiple things locked. Maybe you can have up to like four ships, maybe? Kind of weird, but I can't like sell that stuff until it's moved, I guess. So how did we lose money? Didn't I... Didn't I gain money from the... Well, we took out... We had to like rent that spot that we went and... uh salvage from, but, like, shouldn't I have gotten, like, 50,000 from doing the mission? Oh, just got here. Is this a good game? It's interesting so far, yeah. I've never seen any game do anything like this. Um, it's got a little Subnautica vibe to it when you're exploring the ocean floor looking for stuff, but I like the business management part, too. Look on a message to interact with them. Oh, wait, can I claim money from this now? No. Good morning, Crocs with socks. Good to see you. So auction house so we could sell stuff. I don't really need to like sell at the moment. We got very little stuff. From here you can manage the key elements of your company. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, wait, let me wait a day. Okay. But now it's going to take another three hours. You haven't started the transfer process. Are you sure you want to switch the panel? Okay. That's kind of cool how things do take real time. I, guess, I mean, I guess it makes sense that it would take a little bit of time to move some stuff. Some things should be immediate, though. Like, I don't know. But alright. It's all based on time. Okay. Uh, well, that job's done. So, what now? A place where you can buy equipment and sell valuables. Okay. Oh, there's a lab too. Oh, nice. We can buy upgrades here. That's cool. Oh, damn. Can we get... Is that a sub? Oh, it is. It's a damn sub. Free diving self-propelled deep sea submersible consisting of a crew cabin similar to a bath sphere suspended below the surface rather than a surface cable. That's badass. Okay. Yeah, bubble sub. The bub sub. All right. We can uh, unlock better scuba gear. I think immediately we should just invest in that, right? That's not even that expensive. Wonder if we have to buy one per worker. By the way, we bought we we brought other employees with us when we went on that adventure, but we didn't even see them and I don't even know if they did anything. <laughs> like it'd be kind of cool if it extended your storage or something like that or made things go faster, but I don't know. All right, I think we should buy this, the upgraded scuba gear for sure. And we'll just wear the better one. Yeah, this is where things get a little more expensive now. We don't even have a, a drone. So how do I put my stuff up for sale? We could just pawn it, but what about uh, oxygening it off? Extraction balloon. A balloon that allows you to extract wrecks from underwater. See, that's cool, man. If we get to go underwater with, like, a welder and, like, cut off a section of a ship and then have it, like, you know, float to the surface and then we get to bring it out of there with a barge and then, like, reclaim it or something, that would be amazing. That'd be really cool. Add offer, maybe? Uh, maybe... Current offers count. I think offer is us bidding on stuff. I don't understand why we would want this stuff, though. Like, our business is to find things and then sell it. I don't know why we'd buy from other people and then, like, sell it at a higher price. Ah, here we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So we can we can sell for the at the pawn shop for guarantee money, or we can put things in the auction house, which will probably take time. But people will fight in the auction for it, so we could make six thousand. Yeah, I don't think there'd be any reason I'd ever want to go to the pawn shop because with this, just with a little bit of time, you can go from six thousand to maybe the uh, breaking even price would be twenty one thousand, or at least that's its value. So you want to at least make that. But here we're going to start at ten thousand five hundred. So half the half the base price. So pawn shop value is six thousand. We're gonna put it up for auction for ten fifty, but our hope is that people will bid to twenty one thousand. Okay. Now let's just do this and see what happens. In some games You know, some like barn finders and stuff, sometimes people will go into crazy fights over stuff and you'll make a lot of money. Other games, it's like they're very picky. I'm just going to put everything up at base price. Chalk it up to experience for everybody else who wants to play. You can spend a lot of time, though, like fidgeting with that stuff. We should go back and play barn finders as well. These, uh, these games where you go into a place to find stuff and then, like, either repair it or restore it and then sell it at a higher price. Really interesting. Can I change the date of the auction ending? Um, let 
Maybe I could. It doesn't look like there's any cost to put them up for sale. I don't know. We'll wait a day and see what happens. I wonder if this store will have discounts. Works on board ship. Oh, this. This is uh This will guide us to the um to the wrecks. That's a good one. That goes on the ship. Yeah, the auction's on the 20th, it's the 13th. Okay, so now, can we install this on the ship? Oh, we have to refuel. And that's going to take time, too. Let's repair. Okay, we got all the stuff we can get. How do I install the um, thingy on here? We bought a sonar, I want to install it. Hmm. Isn't it handheld? Maybe. It could be a handheld one. Let's see what the uh, auction house said. Uh, we're Oh, works similarly to onboard ship sonars. It can guide you to the object location. Oh, okay, it's a handheld one. But we didn't even have a handheld one on our... Or we don't even have one on our ship. So can we not buy one for the boat? Whatever. It's fine. Okay. So now we just need another job to come in, so... I guess now we just wait. A new order is available in the mailbox. Okay. So that's how it works. We go out on a mission. We come back. We wait a few days to repair the ship, refuel, transfer items, sell things, put things up for uh, auction. Or whatever. Uh, hello, we have an urgent requirement for your exceptional sunction, sunken ship salvage services. Valuable cargo awaits discovery and recovery. Please respond promptly if interested. That sounds like a scam email. Argentinian ship. Okay. I'll do that. I wonder if we can get skill points to negotiate a higher price for these, too. Like, he wants, um... Well, that's actually quite a bit of money. 518,000? If we go up by one. Yeah, I don't know how we could negotiate. Oh, we can go back to the submarine if we want to. Now it's by one time access. Oh, we're going over to Portugal. Cool. Gonna be near Lipson. Lis li 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 Liebelson. Liebelston. Leevalston. Lee Alvik. Can we go back to the future? We can. But roads, where we're going, there are no roads. Okay, so we need to bring an employee with us. Set inventory. Oh, I can, okay, so I can have that on me. Oh, that's kind of cool. So we can store a bunch of other things to bring along. I guess we don't need to bring the storage tanks. They're just default, and they're just upgraded now. Or actually, we did choose them in the... That's weird. Like, here we could choose the equipment, but in that other screen... Uh, the one where we purchased it, that's where you choose to 
if you're going to bring it. That's kind of a weird thing. Like, you choose your equipment here, but then also in a purchase screen, which is weird. All right, we're supposed to bring employees with us, so let's bring... What's all this? Strength, agility, what does that mean? Does that change? Oh, it does. Oh, that's what it does. Okay. So bringing other workers with us will give us a better fuel consumption, higher radar range, max speed. Okay. All right. All right. That's cool. So it does matter. I think we're ready to go. Go to sea? No. You can't start the time while preparing for an expedition. Well, I'm, I'm prepared, I think. Oh, there we go. Alright, so we leave tomorrow. Hopefully we have enough fuel and stuff. Alright, we're here. Lisbon, here we come. Cheap and classy. Mm hmm. We got to find the SS Duraco. Okay. What's weird though is that it's just marked. Um. Only like on the the HUD, like when we when we take command of the ship, like this or the boat, and then it's just like wait, now it's not marked. The German sub was marked last time, now this thing isn't. But we don't have a sonar or anything. Change anchor status. Oh, is it going to become married? What does the phone do? Oh, that's neat. So if our cargo, if we find a wreck that's got so much stuff on it, we can actually call a cargo ship to come pick up stuff while we're still gathering that. That's cool. And then barges to bring back hunks of ship. That's going to be cool. Okay. See, this is the question I had at the beginning of the game. It's like, okay, how, how are we going to use like a sonar to find these wrecks and stuff? Maybe, let me try to dive and see if I can use the handheld so dumb. Like, why can't I upgrade the ship? We should be able to upgrade our boat to be able to find this. Panel above the steering wheel. Yeah, there is a radar there, but that only helps us above. Actually, does that even work? I don't even think that's functioning. I don't think that thing actually works. Um... Yeah, because when we went to all the shops and whatnot, there was no, um, 
I mean, we couldn't buy a sonar. Unless there was a option in the shipyard. Well, actually, wait, there were no ships available when we first looked. How the hell would we find this ship? <laughs> Tutorial, ship mechanics, none. Uh, equipment. Okay, that's not helpful at all. What what happens if we lower the anchor? I mean, it doesn't even matter. The ship doesn't move anyway. Um, boy. I think we're going to go back to... Uh, I, I want to load the save and go back to before we left. I mean... That's kind of confusing because, like, the first mission they tell you exactly where the sub is, and I'm like, what? How do? How did we know that's exactly where? We're? I guess somebody gave us the GPS coordinates. Fine, fair, but then they should go on to tell you, hey, you need to buy new stuff to find it on your own, which is the question I had. But then, where the hell do I go to buy? <laughs> where do I? Where do I go to buy that stuff? Ah, uh, hey, Colt. Okay, so now we can buy newer ships. Yeah, for $2 million. Okay, we could buy one that's not a POS. Holy hell. Advanced damage ship. Awesome. But they do... Over there, they do have extraction tools and lifts. So, it, I mean, that's going to be cool as hell to cut out a section of a ship and actually, like, have it float to the surface because we can buy those balloons. New game? Yeah, this one came out today. We have played the demo before on the channel, but this is all all new stuff. Wow, look at that dredger. That's awesome, dude. Well, where do I buy equipment? And do these ships even have sonar? You're in Charlotte. Oh, boy. I guess maybe the advanced fishing ship, but what's so advanced? You know, I'm willing to buy, like, the advanced ship. Also, can't we repair this? You know, what's funny is that our current ship that we own, we repaired, but it's still, like, a damaged ship. Like, we, we repaired the damaged ship, but it's just still a damaged ship, I'm pretty sure. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can't we can't even upgrade this ship to have a sonar. We have engine upgrades, antenna, but that I, that doesn't explain what the hell that does. Does that also include sonar or is that radar? And radar doesn't really help to f find ships under the water. Uh, you have three million. Did you start the game a while back? No, I just, I just, the game started with that money. Like, it doesn't show, t what's hilarious is that somebody has taken a picture of the ship. They know exact, they... <laughs> Hey, can you go get this ship for us? K okay, bye. And they sent a picture of it, so they literally know where it is. But they haven't um, given us the coordinates. How nice! All right, I think we're gonna. All right, let's do something crazy here. We're gonna do. We're gonna do crazy plan. Crazy plan alpha. No, we're gonna call it. Uh, we'll just call it Plan B. Our plan B is going to be, I'm going to sell this ship. Alright, we're going to buy a new ship, then we're going to sell our old ship. Yeah, we can't, I, I can't believe we can't even buy stuff for ships here. This all just seems to be things that we can buy for our diver. So that must be how that works. Okay, so let's go to shipyard. Sh 
chop ships. Let's try the advanced ship for a million. That's like a pretty fair price. How the hell is this one? Oh, this one has a lift but not an extraction tool. This one doesn't have a lift and doesn't have an extraction tool. Inventory horizontal size. Oh, it's a 10 by... Oh, what? You gotta consider that too? So the actual... Like, each of the ships have a particular size of the inventory too. So if we get this one, it's a 10 by 10. If we get the dredger, it's a 6 by 10. So this one has a bigger capacity. But this one doesn't have the ability to extract. Wait, this one doesn't have the ability to do anything. Alright, this is what's confusing, too. Here's another annoying thing. If we click on the NOAA damage ship, it says that it does not have an extraction tool, and it comes with a lift. But this one doesn't even acknowledge that that exists. So it's like, could they consistently tell you what the f special features are, and if they have them or not? That would, that would be really helpful. It's like the most expensive ship... X probably means damaged? Oh, maybe. So you're saying that this one may be... Okay, yeah, you know what? This is why we're going to use save scumming. Oh, the X might mean that it's upgradable but doesn't have that installed. Maybe. Alright, we're going to have to just like save to like buy stuff and experiment. Because it doesn't really do a good job of explaining. Let's just buy this ship. Bro, come on, man. You can have a maximum of one ship. Okay, sell that ship and buy another one. Dude, you can't sell that ship. Okay, then what's the purpose of having the ships? Let's, all right, well, two million dollars, I'm gonna embezzle the money and retire. I'm going to Malta. The business is bankrupt, it's folded. I need a government bailout of 70 trillion for emotional fees, and I'm going to buy Malta, and then I'm just gonna retire. May as well. How the hell can you be a shipping company, or like work with ships and, uh, dude, you can't have more than one ship. Okay, sell the ship. Dude, you can't sell that ship. Bro. Alright, so how do I upgrade my base to be able to buy more ships then, right? Can I do that? Uh, shipyard? Okay, so I can pop... <laughs> okay, so we can get two ships for a $5,000 scam. This was This BS rule was made up by big docks to sell more docks. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. All right, so we can buy a bigger shipyard. Thank God. Okay. And now we can buy a new ship, which was the advanced ship. Now I want to sell the old P. Maybe I should just keep the old one just in case. Okay, so now how do I... Alright, let's go on the expedition to the new merchant ship. Wait, how do I choose the boat first? Advanced ship damaged. Okay. Wait, can I repair that one before we go? Now that we own that... Oh, it's not even that damaged. Oh, we can upgrade the engine, though. Okay. All right, chat was right. Wait, no. Missing deck crane. It can have a lift. Okay, so the X means... So default means that it doesn't come with a lift. We can buy one for... No money? It's free? And it gives us more inventory. And apparently... Okay. So the ship that didn't come with a crane comes with a crane. <laughs> Wait a minute, when we bought this damn thing, didn't it, didn't it have an X here? And then I could just... What the hell? Or maybe I had one in storage. Because this here says missing deck crane, so maybe I can go buy one, and then it's interchangeable between the ships, maybe? So maybe we had one in storage, but it wouldn't fit on our fishing ship. You 
Here we have a lift. We can take off the lift. Take off the antenna, take out the engine. And can we put it on this ship? Oh, never mind. It, it costs 5000 My bad. I didn't see the upgrade there. Okay. Okay, so let's refuel, repair. Okay, good. Go. I love I still love how it's a damaged ship even though we repaired it. Anyway. All right, now onto the expedition. We're bringing the advanced bring in oh we can bring everybody all right that's another bonus about crew and a bigger ship is that you can get more of a bonus from the crew that's cool huge inventory space nice it said install something at the bottom did it Oh, uh, we don't have that though. So, oh, the, oh, and now the lift is like off the back of the ship. It's not even touching the ship anymore. Now it's just floating there. That's awesome. Anyway, that, okay, so the lift seems to be for lowering a, um, a submarine, but maybe it does other things too. workers everybody's coming along so we can hire more people but I think three is fine for now I gotta do that again I gotta bring the right ship advanced ship Draco these three Oh, you can refuel here before... Okay. So before we go out on the expedition, we can plan all the refueling and the repairs here. Okay, that's cool. Rental. Okay, so this is where we can rent additional barges to come on out with us. Or we can loan a cargo ship. Okay. It's really complex, but I, li I like what it's doing. Like, I, I wish there were more games like this. Okay, so now we have a few days to repair and refuel. Would you like to start the expedition now? All right. I don't know, maybe, maybe this will have a sonar on it. I don't know. We've arrived at the expedition site. Nice. All right. Okay, let's see how this goes. I think we're about to have one of those Jackie Chan moments where it's like, you know what I'm talking about, that old Jackie Chan meme? Where it's like, what? You know what I mean. The sonar stats can be seen at the buying screen of the boatyard shop. Oh, really? How come we can't just buy a sonar, though? Oh, this is cool. Oh, dude, this is really cool. Pog, dude. We're on, like, a much bigger ship, and it's different. And we freaking get water. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. So do we have a sonar?
anchor, wreck lift. Extra oh, extraction mode. Oh, that's for underwater mining? Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, we can get drones, too. This is much cooler. I'm glad we bought a big O ship. The fishing boat's cool, but it's way better. Also, I don't know why at the helm we're standing all the way back here. I can't see the damn thing. I think you just cruise the water, and when the radar hits the spot, you get it on your compass. So you're telling me, in order to find a wreck, we just need to get close to a radar ping, and then we can find it on our sonar when we get out of the... I don't know. There, there's a couple of... There's a couple things that are like... Hmm, about this game, where it doesn't make sense in-game or in... <laughs> in real life. But all right, let's. I guess let's just go until we get a pick. I also bought the advanced radar, didn't I? Like we have the advanced radar, so it should be on the. I got nothing on the compass. I guess we're just gonna go. Maybe the tutorial would have been handy. Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should have did the whole full like handhold tutorial, but. You would think some things would be kind of self-explanatory, like, you know. <laughs> I mean, we've been able to figure it out from here. I mean, you know, that's what tool tips are for, where you hover over something and it's just like it tells you what it does. That's, you know, you shouldn't have to have it. Tut Tutorials and games are hard to do, because on one hand, they could be really boring and tedious, like when we played uh, the U-Boat Hunter game, that has a really long and tedious tutorial. But they've actually made it interesting where you hunt a U-Boat the whole time. So the tension is there while you're learning. Is our radar on? Hmm. I do like the fact, though, that we have completely different modeled ships on the interior. We can't go outside, but I appreciate the fact that they put in, like, a first-person... Like, it's different for each boat that you can go on. It would be nice to actually see crew on board, though. I feel like we're going to take a torpedo hit. This game isn't out yet, according to Steam. Oh, it might be out in a couple hours. It's out today usually does that thing where I, I really wish Steam would be updated to when you went to a store page that it told you the exact countdown. Steam keeps doing this thing where it's like, you know, out today. Releases in le in an hour. Releases in less than an hour. It's like, just give us a damn countdown timer. What about the PC on the left side of the panel? I don't think I can interact with any of these things. Mother effer. Move to re yeah. Would you like to fast travel to the main wreck location? Why wouldn't I? Why would I want to just putz around in the effing ocean? We already know it's there. They send a damn picture of it. Why the hell would they do this, bro? Wait, are you telling me the small fishing boat would have that? That is ridiculous. Why is there not a menu for this? This is ridiculous. Why would you not, bro? When the player goes to the expedition, we're not fishing, we're not trawling or anything like that, but they're, the devs are trolling me. Just, what is all these other options then if you could just literally move to the wreck? Okay, okay, all right, okay, all right. I think I, okay, I think I see what this is. I see what they're going for. You can either realistically 
cert like get to an area and then start searching with the sonar, or you can just do the easy mode. I think that's what they're going for. So you could do like a zigzag search if you want to, or you can create your own paths or whatever. So, so you could basically follow this path and search for the wreck, or you could just do the easy mode. Oh, look, we found it, guys. Perfect. Okay. All right, all right, okay, all right. So that explains a lot of things. Okay, fantastic. Viewer, viewer of the Year Award goes to Mature Adult with a Business Degree. Thank you very much. Viewer of the Year. For pointing that out. But, you know, it, 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 it goes back to, like, okay, why didn't... Like, in these menus, why not, when we're driving, also have the option to do that? Because, like, wait a minute. That's a good question. How the hell... If, if we set up... Yeah, it's for immersion, right. But my question now is this. If we set up a damn... If we set up a damn search pattern, how the hell would we keep to that? Like, do you just... Coming soon. I love that. Coming soon feature. You can change the view here. Okay, wait a minute. So you can set up your search pattern here and then tell it to start, and this is like an autopilot mode. Okay, that answers so many questions. That, all right, that's cool, and should be explained in depth in the tool tips without having to go into a tutorial. Because, yeah. Did this cost you more fuel to fast travel? No, it probably cost less, because it just brought us right to the location rather than going around in a search pattern. Regardless, let's go. Sonar pinging. Holy hell, there's a lot of... Is that... Is that stuff we can actually pick up? Oh, look, we're right on top of it. Beautiful. Alright, so the, that is actually cool. Alright, all... Com, despite all my complaining, the devs did a good job of putting in... Like a search pattern mode. Where you can actually look for it with the sonar. It was just... Horribly explained. I don't blame them. Wow, so every one of those pings on the sonar is something we can pick up. No way. Ooh, piece of candy. Silver bar. Ooh. Am I going to get the bends down here? How the hell is there a tree branch down here? Side. Well, a little bit. Wait a minute. Are you guys hearing birds under the ocean? I can hear seagulls all the way down here. I thought that was outside, but I swear, I swear it's in-game. Okay, that's going to need to be patched. That is very disorienting. Alright, so this ship went down with a bunch of silver. It's going to take a long time to find all this stuff. Hey, the sonar thingy that we bought, though, was a good thing to buy. It'd save us a lot of time. What's blinking red? Uh, pressure gauge. I think we're at maximum depth. 
We're almost at two. I'm assuming 200 meters. Well, the silver should make us a lot of money. It would be legit if there was an actual AAA game like this, though. There was parts of, um... Isn't there a, a part in one of the Nathan Drake games where you go underwater and... I think maybe at the start of the game where it's like, Yeah, I'm out of the game, baby. I retired. I'm doing, uh... Doing a wreck salvage now. It's like, come on, Nate, one more job. Now this is the full version of the game. Is there a third person view? Uh, not in the underwater mode. I guess all the ships must come with sonar then by default. Live chat mode on, thank you. have to take a couple trips so this is like the serious business part now just like literally going to every object and picking it up what's up beyond pete yeah good thing we upgraded the air tanks for sure yeah well it's weird because like this was the second job too and i think I don't know, i'd imagine like the first couple of jobs being linear where they're always the same and then maybe random ones come out but the amount of distance that we have to go between each of these objects is crazy but I guess that's why they started us with like three million dollars. Oh, we're full. Yep. All right. Back to the surface. All right. To be honest, I think you start with way too much money. Well, considering that they have us. Uh I mean, I don't know. I mean. We bought an upgraded ship, and that's cool, but it does seem like there's going to have to be other things for us to buy eventually, like submarines and then barges to, like, salvage boats. I, I don't know. I'll agree, though. Three. I feel like there should be a few more missions to kind of scale you up, though. There should be, like... Like, they, they could have been this mission with the, like, recovering uh, silver, but it could have been more like um, a Spanish galleon just on a small... There should be a few more small-scale jobs. So now our oxygen is at 59%. I wonder if that will replenish. Oh, they want us to scan the SS Draco wreck. I think we needed to buy a laser for that. I didn't know that was part of the requirements. I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Oh, you can hold control. Thank God.
up here. Yep, cool. Alright, so we're not going to be able to scan the wreck, I guess. It's one of the things we aren't going to be able to do. I'm going to have to come back just to do that. idea for a game. I agree. Yeah. Uh, is it all fantasy wrecks or there's some real wrecks too? There probably could be real ones. I wouldn't be surprised if they put in like some historical stuff. Most anticipated game of the year. Well, I'm really looking forward to City Skylines and uh, Starfield now. And I want them both to be great. And uh, I don't think they'll be the greatest games ever made and they'll have problems and they will not. I think Starfield will be. I don't have any expectations for Starfield other than what, what I've been shown. But City Skylines, I have some expectations because it's like, you know, Paradox. It'll be like, dude. We put in a DLC for, like, uh, better roads, man. It's like, how come that wasn't part of the base game? No, man. Mods will fix it, man. No? What do I think about Icarus? Uh, the game is clunky for me. I have kind of problems playing that on the PC. But a good concept of, like, building a house and stuff like that on a planet. I mean... It's another cool survival game. I mean, we have a million survival games, but I think everybody would rather have more than less survival games. You know, it'd be a great survival game. A couple years from now, they remake Subnautica and then they make it multiplayer people would freak out. We're just practicing chat for Dave the Diver when that comes out. Yeah, I got plans for a game. It would be like Dave the Diver, but like a ramen shop. I think that's why I like Dave the Diver so much. Or Navalis. Welcome to Navalis. I like what those devs are doing with their games. Whoa, a P-47. That's unexpected. Coast of Portugal? Scan and make some extra. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah. Well, I wonder what the purpose of that is. Like, scanning a wreck, scanning it for what? Like, I could understand taking pictures, but I, I don't know what the point of that laser is. Cool chat is if we got a um, a thing to go faster underwater. Although we're already swimming pretty fast.
So I guess in order to complete this job, we might have to come back with a laser. Oh, no more space. All right, back to the surface. It's going to be epic. I hope so. What's up, Iceman? a lot of stuff. Ooh. Alright, this might be our last trip. We're not going to be able to hold anymore. Kind of funny how the music kicks up only when your head goes below the surface of the water. Oh, we got 83% of all the cargo. I do like it, though, that the scanning thing is interesting because at least it's it's not like go to ocean floor, pick up stuff, come back and leave every time. There'll be some differences, which is cute. chat, by the way, is a, a little, uh, I guess, um, what would you call it, like a little public service announcement. I uh, put up a, a game earlier on the channel that is another free Steam demo that was pretty cool. If you enjoyed our stream of System Shock recently, there was a little uh, free demo of another game that's kind of like a 90s shooter. Uh, that's actually built within the, I think it said it was built within the Doom engine. They somehow got permission to like modify it and make their own game through that somehow. That's pretty cool. Oh, also, uh, chat, on Monday, the Steam Next event begins as well, so there's going to be a lot of games that are going to have a lot of free demos. And I'm going to be working on a video just trying to, like, uh, highlight, like, ten free demos of games upcoming. I guess we'll just have to say upcoming, because some of them might... They might say they'll release in 2023, but might move or don't have a confirmed release date. Like, I put games on there like uh, Back to the Dawn and uh, Chinese Frontiers, you know, the one where you can build the uh, uh, the Great Wall of China and a village and stuff like that. Yeah, it's possible we could get Manor Lords. I don't... I think the developer would have hinted at that by now if he was actually planning. I mean, it's possible, like, around this time last year's when the Manor Lords demo dropped. It was, like, I think later in the summer, but... Uh, we could see another Broken Arrow demo, perhaps. There could be a lot more. It's just a good time to go on Steam for like an hour and just kind of like browse around and add stuff to your wish list. For those of you who are looking for more games to fill the gap between the next big game, there could be some good bangers in there that you might want to play. Dredge, for example, might have a demo. I, th I think it does. I feel like devs should never take down demos, though, once they put them up. Yeah, the... Uh, I think the Mandalore's demo was in August, so yeah, it's, we're almost there. What's up, Niwa? How you doing? But yeah, nothing, nothing wrong with a free demo. Free demos are good. I feel like I want to do more videos of that on Steam, but uh, or on uh, Steam demos, but I've I, I've been really wanting to just make top ten videos. 
stop what I do on the daily for streams and just put together like a nice like, hey, here's ten good base builders, and everyone will be like, oh yeah. And if I forget any, you know, like if I don't put it in Subnautica, then everybody will be like, oh, where's Subnautica, dude? You forgot it. It's like, well, I could only choose ten, so I guess I'll have to make another video. But the cool thing is, is it opens up the comment section for people to be like, oh, dude, thank you for that game, or did you hear of this other game? And, and I'll, I'll, like, it's a two-way street. Like, you guys will tell me about games I've never heard of either. So it's a good way to get the conversation going around, like, hey, here's some cool games. Oh, yeah, I played X game for 100 days, and this is what happened. Yep, that'll be the, uh, start doing those. Be like, I played this city for 100 days. It's such an ambiguous statement, too, because there's no real way to totally prove that. Like, what do you mean 100 days? 100 in-game days? 100 IRL days? Did you just play for a minute a day? Just load the save and log out to get it on a technicality? Like, dude, I, I, this happened, and algorithm optimization SEO, and this happened. But, that's what YouTube has made it become. YouTube made it that way. Uh, did you find out how to scan the ship? Yeah, I think I need a laser to do it. And again, going back to what I was saying about this game being a little bit more helpful with the tooltips, it should tell you to do how to do that. Oh, you want me to watch the Diablo lore videos? I'd like to do that. For lo Diablo 4 lore. I'm going to have a cozier channel where I just do more chill stuff, chat. I think we should make this main channel more for, like, AAA reviews and, like, upcoming game hype. And then everything else I'll just play over on another channel. Otherwise, there's too much stuff here and YouTube doesn't send out notifications anyway. We have to bypass the bias algorithm. People's expressions in the YouTube thumbnails are so ridiculous. They are, but the algorithm searches for that. It looks for surprise, you know, like YouTube can scan all those thumbnails and then it classifies them. It's kind of like how chat GPT works, but YouTube will scan thumbnails and titles. If you ever get mad over someone's titles and thumbnails, we, we'd like to be honest and just title it like, Kingdom of Wreck business, but you can't do that. You gotta be like, dude, this game changed my DNA. <laughs> like, like, you have to, you have to be that way. Otherwise, the algorithm will be like, no, you do not get a notification today. It's not like sub to channel and get to see what channel does anymore. There's 14 caveats between that now. And that's how it works. All right, so, uh, boy, so we can't do the scanning anymore. But I guess we can go back and come back, I guess. It's gonna cost us money. But all right, how do we go back? Cool. Yeah, Jason's channels. Well YouTube does that so that way you're forced to make a new channel so they can say, dude, this year. You know, for their shareholder meetings, they can say, this year YouTube grew by over 100 million channels. But half of those are just people having to make a second channel because of their bias policies and roadblocking people. But it looks good on those little pop-up things where the, you know, the Microsoft clip art pops up of just, you know, it just works for the shareholder, that's all. Any profits on the auctioned items? Good idea. Let's take a look at that. Uh, actually, the auction is over on the 20th, so did we make any money? Well, they're all gone, so... Oh, I can't... can't auction the silver off yet until we offload it. We must have made money, but I can't tell... Is there a history of transactions? You know what goes good with the live stream? A bucket of KFC? Oh, man. KFC used to be good, but for me, it's all just disappointment now. Except for, um... In Japan. Uh, help required to locate sunken military ship from the army. 
Okay. What if we can go out on multiple objectives per turn? Rex scanning up. I think we should just buy everything now. Because we're gonna need we might need this stuff. They might ask us to get this stuff. They allow you to check off exciting places. What the hell is a scanning dart? Dart used for scanning areas to find desired items or materials. So is the scanning dart the same as the laser, but just a cheaper option? I like the GPS marking dart though, because like that P47 that we found, we could just shot a dart there and then swam back to that. Maybe maybe we can get bonus money by doing that. Apparently there's flares too, but it's not listed. Two. Ooh. Yeah, mm. We'll wait on that one. Okay, so now we gotta go back. Okay, so first we gotta offload the ship, I think we should. So how do we go to our... You would think that the uh, onshore storage would be unlimited, or at least like quadruple of what the ship is. I think this is all stuff being transferred there, but it looks like the storage is going to be full. So first we're going to have to wait for the silver to be stored, then we have to put it up for auction. And it's going to take like two days to do that. Yeah, two days and seven hours, yep. Yeah. We have to keep the darts on us, too. That takes a valuable inventory space. Oh, and I can only hold four items. Can I buy a tool belt, maybe? Now, wait a minute. For that other job, can I just go back later and complete that one? Like, I could put all this stuff up for sale now and then go back and complete the... I think that's the one with the... Yeah. I think we can just wait on that? Or do we have to give them the cargo? Like, they're the ones who sent us on a mission to, like, recover the silver. Sell it? Yeah, we could go to the pawn shop. Well, first we have to transfer it, so let's do that first. I guess... N I don't think any of these contracts ever expire. I think this is the full release of the game, but honestly, if it's not... This releases on Steam in a couple hours, and as far as I can tell, it's the full release, but... Let me check the tags real quick. I don't see early access in the tags. My best guess is that it's full game, but it could be possible that it's early access. But I'm playing the uh, full version of the game just a little early. Alright, uh, whatever. I'm just going to take the arm. It, it, it never seems like there's a way to actually negotiate with these guys either. 
Unless later on we get some sort of reputation. Maybe that's this here, the stars. But I don't know how that works. But it looks like we can just take as long as we want to do jobs. Okay, so that stuff transferred. Cool. I'm going to put this in storage, too. You can't put the darts in storage. So now they're permanently in my inventory. change. Uh, Alright, let's go to the auction house. I don't know why they show us items that we can buy. Like, what? Why would I want to buy this? Wow. Each of these silver bars we can put up for 40 42,000 pounds, but the actual value is 84,000 per bar. Oh my god. Sounds like it's a full release based on what I'm reading from the devs on Steam. My god. Alright, uh, this game's cool though. Like, I'm gonna I'm a be legit and honest that games like Fishing Barren Sea and Fishing North Atlantic were a little clunky to at launch, but the, the heart and soul of the game is there. Like, the devs are doing their best. And there's a few things in this game that are like, the hell? But I see a lot of complexity here, and hopefully, like, after release and a little bit of time, it gets better. But I want to see more of the missions, and hopefully they don't get too repetitive. But obviously, the game by design is repetitive, too, where it's like, go to location, go underwater, and then salvage stuff. What's the eye in the upper right corner? Events. And apparently, we, we don't have a loan. That $3 million was ours to spend, I guess. Nice. Wait, this game's $8? I don't see a price listed on Steam. Did they say this game's gonna be like 8 bucks at release? That's cool. Alright, one of the problems too in uh, the auction is that we have to do this one at a time. Like, if I want to auction off all this silver bar... Hopefully there's a bulk mode in the future. That could be a good quality of life change. Make it so that way if it's the same item, like the same quality of silver bar. Actually, wait, these are all worth different prices. Hmm. Okay, that's actually interesting. It's based on quality. Yeah, some of these are 42. Wait, this is worth 50, but... Wait, it doesn't seem like it's setting it for the best price. Shouldn't this start at 58? Mm. Ah, whatever, I don't care. I don't care, whatever. We'll take out a loan. Money's money, and I don't see us buying anything else for a little while. Aside from, like, a barge rental fee, which ain't gonna be 2 million. I wonder if we get more boats over time. Typically in these types of games, it's like, oh, uh, you can't buy the aircraft carrier until you're level 69, 420. It's like, yeah, but I have all the money now. Well, you know, I can't sell that to you. As if, like, if you went to a Ferrari dealer, they would ever tell you no. If you had that, like if you physically showed up with like a duffel bag of money, oh, well, they probably call the cops and look into that. But oh, sorry, sir, you're not a level uh, level 22 driver. Can't sell you this Ferrari and take money. And done. All right, yeah, that. That wasn't worth my time to go through and adjust each of those automatically. There, there should be a bulk mode for that. 
But alright, cool. Now we're done with that. Devs should take down demos when they don't represent the game anymore. I agree with that, too. Yeah, if the game updates, they should put up a new demo. Oh, look, our ship is looking snazzy now. Oh, wait, that's, an, that's a ship we can buy. I said, no, I, I think that is our ship, but just an advanced version of it. Oh yeah, we have the advanced damage one. Well, now it's worth a million dollars with all the upgrades. It doesn't have to be pretty, it's just gotta work. Okay, so any new message? Okay, we got one from the army. The army wants us to help. So we'll do that. But then I wanna go on an expedition back to the old merchant ship. Motor Merchant. All right, we'll do the one-time access again. Now we got the scanner. So we can get this mission done. Most importantly, I think I just want to get rep and see if it unlocks new ships for us. Um, bring the advanced... I think I should sell the fishing boat. I don't think we need that anymore. It's going to cause a problem. Let's get rid of the old fishing boat. F's in the chat for the old fishing boat, boys. Goodbye. Cool. All right. She served us well. All right. Now time to go to... Back to the Draco. I feel like we, you know, for the advanced ship damaged, the only thing, like, it should just be really damaged when you buy it. It's like, okay, it's not, you can get it now, it's not worth as much as the other ships, but eventually you can repair it. And then when it's repaired, it should look repaired. Okay, so I want to transfer all that to storage. take five hours so that'll be before we go to sale start or cancel active transfers first all right so now we can go in two days again the damaged one had to lift the new one doesn't oh you mean the the fishing boat yeah we could probably rebuy that for a fee I feel like we should be able to modify all the ships to just do whatever, but I guess that means that we'll have to have another bigger ship in the future. Yeah, it looks like this game's gonna be like $9.99 at launch, but seven, $7.90, 20% off. This, is, this game's $7, dude. This is a McDonald's price game. All right, now are we at the right location? I think so. That looked like the right spot, right? Oh yeah, we're there. We're there. Oh cool, so once you find the wreck, the game will automatically fast travel. Alright, we'll 
We'll see what happens. Now we're here. You are really good. You have completed all the tasks in the mission. Thank you. That was easy. Okay. I guess maybe the scan is like to detect what happened. Let's see if you can break down what happened. You know what's interesting, too, is that we can't go from mission to mission. So, like, now we're going to have to go all the way back to Liverpool and then come back to go on the next mission. We can't go from one to the other. Cocaine Shark? Is that a movie? I don't know. Sharks are the uh, bears of the sea. Now we can go home. I think it could it would be nicer if your objectives were a little more clearly laid out too on what they wanted you to do and what was required before you do it. But on the other hand, it is nice that it seems like you'll be able to do uh, whatever you want, like in any order. In other words, if you don't have money for something, you can just, like, buy the equipment later on. And then come back and, like, finish the job. Cool. Alright, so that's done. Didn't we already confirm this? Oh, this is a new one. Okay, I think we can go on another mission. we'll go with this one. We should hire some more workers. Um, what are their skills? We could have hired from the other screen, but the other screen doesn't show anything. A current worker or candidate. Can I just hire more workers? Now let's hire Martin. Not enough space. There's a way to send the workers out. Okay. So we didn't necessarily have to sell the fish. That's cool. We can actually have multiple boats and have the workers go out on a mission too to make money on the side. So we can completely have them do this on their own. So we can have them go explore or extract or look for wrecks. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. 
So that changes a lot of stuff. So there's ways where we can have multiple operations going at the same time. So we can have the workers go out and like explore for wrecks or explore for resources to extract. And then what, so we can have like an away team for exploration and like an away team, like recovery team or mining team. And then we can, exploration is probably gonna take a lot faster than recovery. That's cool as hell, man. So we could have, you know, three teams. We could be on one team and AI on two different teams recovering and mining. That's awesome. Or exploring. All right, that's cool. But we're gonna have to upgrade our base to like accommodate more workers. So how do we do that? So that's called a worker's expedition. That's awesome, man. Oh, city upgrades. <laughs> city upgrades. All right, we can take on three more workers. Let's do that. Oh, and we can upgrade our storage too. Dude, we have $5 million now from selling all that silver? Oh my God, chat. Nobody even noticed that. We have five million dollars. We started with three. That silver got us so much money. Oh my god. But I guess the the goal is to like once we build our business bigger and bigger, we're gonna be earning less money because our workers We're gonna be earning a lot of them. Or they're gonna be earning a lot when we have a lot of them. Hell yeah, upgrade the uh, warehouse again. Oh, it costs uh, stars to do that too. Okay. So some things are tied in with XP. So let's hire some more workers. We can hire three. Uh, Martin, <laughs> are you related to Miguel by any chance, or are you just trying to, like, okay. All right, let's see. Oh, dude, look at all these. What's up, Vlad? What did you miss? Uh, just, just general gameplay, I suppose, but we're making a lot of cool discoveries. Game's cool. We're just starting to scratch the surface on it, too. Because now that I found out about the whole worker expedition thing, that's actually really cool because then... I wonder if we could buy multiple bo boats of the same type. Because I guess now we can buy back our fishing boat. Oh, this is new. Quote, unquote, vessel. <laughs> okay. This looks like a hospital ship from World War II. Um, one of these ships would probably be good for exploration. Oh yeah, it looks like the boats change around from time to time. That dredging ship is not here anymore. This game is $8, yes. Yeah, it is confirmed. This game is a Big Mac at McDonald's. Yeah, we'll be playing more Anno 1800 on Sunday. What's this game? Uh, the title might... Might help you out, I think. Alright, let's go on another expedition. This game's getting really neat now, with the whole... Because the fact that the AI can do some of the stuff, and you can hire workers to do other things for you, means that you don't have to do everything yourself, and that's a little bit more interesting. Okay, so let's do... An expedition for the Irma, the advanced ship. Let's try to bring everybody we can. All that gives us is ne less radar range. Ah, whatever. We're paying them anyway. We may as well bring them along. But yeah, the goal then of all these extra workers is probably to have them go on their own ship. 
and then you get a little bit of a bonus. Although, what the hell's the point of bringing six people if they only bring... Oh, whatever. Okay, fine. I could... I'll put the rest of that up for sale when we come back. Alright, let's go. wonder if in the future in this game if they'll let you go to different locations, but I mean... Now that we know this game's eight bucks, it's like, there's quite a lot here for eight dollars. That's ridiculous. Uh oh. I don't think I fueled up the ship. Yeah, we'll take a look at our fuel. What would I rate this game? I gotta play it more to actually rate it, but I'm having fun with it, and I like... it. Can t it I haven't hit like a plateau yet of content where it's just repeating itself. Well, it is, but that's in the nature of the game. Go to place, salvage stuff, come back. But it's interesting. It's interesting stuff. Ooh, very romantic chat. How are we doing on fuel? 21%? Okay. We can get back. We'll be fine. a military ship now. Anything else down here? Can you find the Titanic in the game? Uh, well, that's saying closer to North America, and this only allows you to go to like Europe, like North Atlantic, and uh, like the Mediterranean and such. That was an easy trip. Go back home and get some fuel. I guess that's not a mission that our employees could have done. We have to do these kinds of missions ourselves, but we can find more missions by hiring workers and having them go out on boats, scanning with sonars, and then um, telling us that there's a wreck there, and then we can go pick it up, or they can go extract resources, and then we make money that way. Money doesn't seem to be too big of a problem, so... Yeah, the sun was pretty. Cool. All right, any new jobs? Oh, get reward. Oh, there's buttons at the bottom for that. They're the only ones who paid it so far. Hmm. 
I gotta start deleting some of these. Get emails are getting a little cluttered. So we just have this job at the moment. So yeah, I guess at a certain point that's what we should be doing is eventually get enough to go find our own jobs and not just wait on emails all the time. And then we can take the more interesting jobs too and maybe find special jobs that you wouldn't be offered unless you find them. Yeah, people were asking me earlier what else I was excited for. Certainly City Skylines 2 and, and Starfield as well, but sure there'll be some other big bangers coming out. Dave the Diver later this month I'm excited for. I'm excited to play uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 next month because of chat hitting uh, 4,000 members. You guys haven't become a member yet, by the way. Now's a fantastic time to hit that join button and uh, unlock those juicy perks, by the way. yeah. Oh, look at that join button there. What does that do? Oh. Did you hit it? Oh, what is that menu? Whoa. Look at all those cool things in there. Look at that. Wow. Amazing. Become a member today. Hmm. Wow, this one has a helipad on it? Damn. I feel like another thing, too, though, is that there's a little RNG waiting for new ships to come in. They seem to be randomized somehow. But I don't know what ship would be best for, like, sending the crew out for exploration. Let's do this. Let's, let's do some exploration now. Let's buy this ship just for these guys to go out and like look around for stuff. Or which one would be better? I guess the one with the max speed. This one's 13. And we could also use this one for a lift. Okay. Let's buy this one with the idea of eventually upgrading it further, but for now we'll use it as just kind of a radar system. So now let's go back to business. Now wait a minute, I completed a job, but I only have 1,200. Yeah, we can't really hire all the employees we want to. So I guess one person could come with me and everybody else can go on the other things. Oh, look at the social panel. Wow, they even put in like a damn Twitter in the game? Dude, these devs did a lot of work to only be asking for eight bucks. What the hell? A lot of this stuff is just kind of like shiny extra stuff that's kind of... It's neat. I'm, I'm impressed with that. Usually pricing doesn't bother me too much because, you know, I think we all expect somewhere between like 20 and 120 bucks depending on the game. But eight... Something's fishy. All right, let's have the workers go out on an expedition. Go out on a detailed exploration. Wreck scouting. Go out on wreck scouting. Here's our goods. Let's bring... Uh, how many people can go? Average crew intellect, 69. Nice. So we want high intellect for this one. 73. That actually brings it down. Oh, but that'll shorten the length of it. It'll only take a week. Two weeks with one. All right, we'll, we'll send them on multiple missions. It's fine. That's cool, man. Oh, we have to click where? Uh, go look in the AM. Sector. Oh, we could... Actually, we can only go in the... We can't go into the Mediterranean. We can only go off, like, the coast of Portugal, Spain, France, 
Germany, Denmark, Norway, and UK and Ireland. Hmm. Yo, Bayou, with the one year, congratulations to you, dude. Good to see you. Thanks for the one year of support, man. Let's go to AM7. But it says locked. Wait, don't tell me we're just... Oh, this is where you're going to need all the money, is unlocking these sectors. But am I unlocking this whole sector or just the keypad sector? I guess we could do one one time access, okay. Now let's go there. You need at least four for a selected ship, okay. They'll be back in ten days, cool. Alright, that's cool. Alright, so you can actually go on a mission. So yeah, alright, so you have to have a minimum number of crew members too. So if you're gonna do exploration, they need to have intelligence. If they're going to have I guess each job requires different things, like the mining expedition probably requires the strength. So that's where you're going to want multiple workers for multiple things. Not not just coming with you on the job. That's neat, man. Alright, let's do that other job then. So we're going to go to... We want our advanced ship. Oh, we're done with the Irma now. Oh, I guess we can always go back to them. One time access. How do I fuel the ship? I thought there was a way to fuel the ship from this menu. Ah, oh, here. Summary. <laughs> Look at that bar. Oops. Fuel, 2,774% for a million dollars. That's a, that's a lot of fuel. But uh, I'll just take a little bit, please. All right, so do that. Anthony Miller dropped a five bomb for the chatty chatters. Let's go. Thank you very much, dude, for the gift bomb for chat. All right. One's in the chat. Show him some love. Hell yeah. Yeah, I liked Hard Space Shipbreaker. I thought that game was really cool. I didn't get a chance to complete it, though, which is a lot of games on this channel, unfortunately. Some, some games just, they're great. They're very good. That was a wonderful game. And then other ones come around, and it's like, oh, I got to try this one, too. And then sometimes it's hard to go back. But at least we get started on, on a lot of bangers. So hopefully chat has a chance to finish a lot of them, too. You need three crew members for the selected ship. One of these guys are out on an expedition, though. Alright, cool. New orders available. Really? Uh oh, message from the government. Do I owe you money or what? We invite you to join our mission to recover maritime treasures. That looks like a wooden ship. 1874, yep. Yeah. The SV Perseverance. Kind of weird, though, because it doesn't really tell you what they want you to do. Like, you look at their job, and it's like... There, there's nothing in this email that tells you exactly what they want you to do. I think that could be done a little bit better. Because it just says, please respond to discuss collaboration. And it's like, well, okay. I mean, I'm interested. But it doesn't tell like it doesn't tell me what they want me to do like go take a picture of it bring the whole thing back I mean eventually the game does have us do recovery operations and this does say to recover maritime treasures from sunken ships but this game does have the ability to attach like balloons to a wreck and raise it out of the water then bring it home on a barge and then repair it or restore it or something we haven't seen that yet and that's got that's got me interested 
That's a big pog moment. Does the Discord link show us invite invalid for anyone else? Oh, is it not working? Anyone uh, having trouble with the, the Discord link? Off the court of, port of the coast of Portugal again. Wow. Hmm. Ooh. Rainy. They do, t they do tell you about the weather, though. And we have yet to use drones and things, too. There's gotta be a reason to use drones later on to get into a ship you can't. You're too large to swim through one of the holes or something. So you can't race a ship with ping pong balls in this game? Well, I think you can do that IRL, right? scan this? There's no treasures? I feel like there's more we're missing. Maybe there are other wrecks around, like, again, when we saw that P-47. I didn't even think about trying to scan that when we went there last time. But if nothing's shown up on the sonar, I don't think there's anything we can collect. Alright, so some of these are just salvage op I mean picture operations, so they're not giving us much money now. So those were those initial missions were just probably to get us a bunch of cash to get us started. Is there a storyline campaign or is it just sandbox? Well there's a campaign. Well, I mean it's it's a tycoon game, so it's just like make make money and then spend money to make money. And then spend money to make money, and then spend money to make money. I assume it, this game could be endless. If you want it to be. What's up, Harsh Hit? How you doing? Can you get the bends in this? Yes, if you get enough money, you should be able to buy several. Hear that music again. All right, let's go back. Back to the office. I find that weird, though, that we it, we have to go all the way home when all we did is we went all the way out here to take a picture and then went home. Like, how come we can't stop at multiple jobs? It'd be very convenient to do that. Oh, mission successful. No new wrecks, no new items. Okay. Well, that's, you know. It is what it is. It be what it be. I guess we just locate the wrecks for the army and then they come and do their own thing. So that makes sense for those jobs. Okay. 
the army, yeah. In the Army National Guard, Poglad. So, what can we do next? Alright, let's do another mission. Where we're going to send out workers. You know what be nice, too, is I don't think they show whether or not you've scanned a sector. I guess that's where a lot of your money is going to go to. We want to be in shallow waters, I think. A lot, a lot of them are down here off the coast of Portugal. I think I'm going to go scan for my own. Let's go up here. Start on the left side. One-time access, detailed, wreck scouting. Oh, that ship needs fuel. Are there different classes of worker types? Uh, they have different skills. Yeah, there's some that are more intelligent, more uh, have more strength and agility. And that pays off differently. Kidding me? That's going to take 18 hours to just pump fuel into that ship? No way. Ooh, Mark Three engine. Actually, yeah, maybe giving these guys the better antenna will give us a higher chance to find wrecks. Waiting for that. Let's go find the Perseverance. Looks like after time, this, the German submarine disappeared. I'll take uh, just four. Or did I need three? Until that ship is refueled. Okay, so then let's go to back to the uh, employee missions. Yep. Yeah. I think I need four employees to go on these, don't we? We do. Don't I have... enough space okay I don't, I don't think we got any more prestige so we might have to use a different ship maybe that has less crew members so cool that we can extract wrecks like that. Alright, well, I don't think I can get any more workers then. Because I'm not allowed to upgrade this without 1,500 stars. So we need more reps somehow to get that. So we're just going to have to finish our current expedition. Alright. 
We're going to do this mission. Maybe we'll get enough rep. Then we can upgrade our HQ a little bit more. And then we can keep doing two missions at the same time. We arrived at the expedition site. Nice. Nice. All right, big mission time. Big mission. All right, let's find this last wreck. Seems like the wrecks are always in the same spot now. Oh, this one's really shallow. All right, and done, we're done. No collectibles or anything, though? Oh, well. Well, these are the... Again, remember, these are the ones coming in via our email. They're, I think the better and more interesting wrecks will be the ones that we discover on our own by sending out our teams and doing it for ourselves. The reward will probably be higher because, like, we would have discovered it ourselves. That one say 100%. Percentage of rec scan, 100%. Um, do I use the dart gun? How do I switch ammo types, though? are scanning. Scanning areas to find desired items and materials. Okay, maybe that's what we're supposed to do. You cannot use this type of dart on this object. Can I pick it up? I can't retrieve the dart? Okay. In your opinion, is the Ultimate Edition of CS2 worth it? Also, thoughts on the Physical Edition, thinking about adding it to my SimCity collection. Well, if you're a collector, then yeah, you should probably... I mean, if you like to collect old city-building games and have boxes, then yeah, you should do that if it's within your budget. Uh, the base game itself, of course, with all the DLCs, is very expensive, but also very worth it because it's an incredible game. However, there's a new game coming out, uh, City Skylines 2, so it might be worth it to get that after a uh, after the release of 2. It could go down in price, uh, but I think a lot of people will still be playing City Skylines 1 because the incredible amount of content and mods, even after City Skylines 2 comes out. Maybe I'm supposed to get both in in one picture. Rick is out of laser frame.
Yeah, you can turn off the music, yeah. like going inside they want me to take like a picture of the whole thing font scan sv perseverance wreck is that not the right rack? Gotta be. It's literally pointing to it as well. Huh. I don't know. All good, though. Wreckfest, cool. All right, chat. Well, speaking of shipwrecks, there is an interesting new pirate game coming soon that might have a demo on Monday called Shadow Gambit The Cursed Crew. I took a look at this game and thought it was actually kind of neat, and uh, so we're going to go live to that now, and you guys will be among some of the first on all of YouTube to check out a brand new game, which is uh, rather interesting. It's like XCOM, but kind of Desperados uh, or Commandos. It's like a Commandos pirate game, and I don't think we get enough pirate games, by the way. we got Sea of Thieves, Monkey Island, and um, a handful of others, but I feel like we need a lot more. So join me now as we take our first look on the channel at that game, and I will see you all a little bit later for more big O streams and whatnot on the channel. Thank you again to all you, all y'all for being here. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll be back with more of Kingdom of Wreck business sometime soon. I'll be back with more streams later today too, so make sure you check them out. See ya.